So what happened with the guy that you ended up getting married to? How'd you meet him? I don't know who he is, by the way. Just uh, I don't know if he's like famous or anything. I'm probably going to sound crazy, but I, I, I don't know. We met 13 years ago at a club I was hosting in Houston. 13 years? 13, wow. 13 years so ago. So right before you moved to California? Yes, literally. And he told me he was moving to California, too. Mm. And when he didn't, I was like, don't have time for you. And we just kind of stayed in touch, like platonically. And then, you know, over three years ago, we just accidentally, literally accidentally started dating. Mm. <laughs> Right as quarantine started or? During quarantine, yeah. Not right as quarantine started, but like, again, for me, like, I didn't allow people in my personal space. I didn't, I didn't, you know, allow people to come to my house and stuff like that. So for me, it was like, we, I couldn't go on, go to, couldn't go out on dates and I wasn't going to have men coming to my house. Was he did. pursuing you hard though? Because you probably have to work kind of hard to make it happen. Oh, I mean, yeah, you're, you're definitely. doing the mom thing. You know? Yeah, definitely. But like, during that time, like he was. He was my friend. So, you know, he had been to my house plenty of times and stuff like that. So I was only having people that I knew that I was comfortable with to come over my house. Like it wasn't like a thing. And so he was really your friend. Like you didn't feel like he was low key in love with you during this time. I mean, and was there a part of you that felt like that towards him? So during the 10 years that we knew each other at that time, we flirted a little, you know, here and there. But like me, I'm one of those people like if 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 on the day that I'm into you or the day that I'm considering it, you don't meet the criteria. I'm out. I'm off. I'm out of here. Like, I ain't got time. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I used to be such a, bah, well, what about as it? a woman, you kind of got to be like that yeah. to, to not get walked all over by guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so you, you end up with all these hot girls who have like the thickest skin and they just are impossible to communicate with because they're so used to fuck boys. Yeah. Treating them a certain way. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you, exactly. got, you got that armor built up. right? Exactly. And and especially during that time, like, I mean, you know, I, I felt like I could pick anyone I wanted to. Right. You know, I, well, not I felt like I could. And I and if I wasn't married, I still would. But I, you know, I, we don't have that. When you're a babe, the, the world's <laughs> your oyster. You know, so um, as as you know, during quarantine, you know, we, we started hanging out more because, again, like I said, Okay, you know, there's someone that I can have around. And during that time, that was probably like the first time that I actually took to like get to know him and deeper than just hanging out in public or deeper than like, oh, we can go to dinner, we can this, we can do that. And as we started to have conversations and, and things like that, I'm like, oh, he's, he's really smart. Oh, he's really talented. Oh, he's really this. He's really that. And, you know, I just started to get to know him in a different way that I never, never had before. And mm -hmm. it just kind of you know, change the whole, the whole perception, the whole idea. And, um, yeah, that's, it, 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 we just accidentally, like just kind of accidentally, Hey, right. Woke up one day and it's like, we're in a full relationship. <laughs> and you got married. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where'd you do it? Um, Las Vegas. Oh, we got married during quarantine, du during COVID. You had like a big wedding there? No. Oh, so we, we, are still pl we're we have the big wedding planned, uh, but when okay. we got married, the world was still closed. Mm, but you just wanted to do it really bad. Yeah, yeah. So we just decided we were just gonna do it. Right. And the crazy thing is, I got COVID the day before or the day we got married. I'm not sure. I woke up the next morning half dead. Really? Yeah. It was after your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I almost died. Like it was. It was. A, it was t like we didn't get to. Well, we couldn't really honeymoon anywhere because it was. It was COVID. But um, I had COVID once, possibly twice, and the shit was fucking. Yeah, brutal. I had it definitely once, maybe twice. But Same. Yeah. I thought I was dying. I was miserable, and oh, yeah, the day, too. the day after we got married, I woke up like. It took me months to feel normal. Yeah, it, it definitely takes a toll. Yeah, you, for sure. It's a hell of a thing. But um, okay, so what do you like actually do in your life at this point? Like we, because you know, obviously you were getting a little annoyed by Sharp, like bringing up the reality TV as if that was like no, yesterday. It, but it wasn't that that was annoying because again, you don't it, like being reduced to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anything I've done in the past is what I've done, and he even mentioned something like, "Oh, so you're proud of that?" I'm like, "This is the road I've taken to get to this place." Right. It's not a sense of pride or a sense of 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 uh, grief or any, or anything like that. It's just this is the steps I've taken to get. Mm -hmm. To this place. So, um, yeah, I quit loving hip hop in 2017. Uh, I quit growing up hip hop in 2018. Um, since then, I've done quite a few things. Um, I am a singer and actress as well. Mm -hmm. I've done quite a few movies, commercials, and, you know, things like that. TV shows, sitcoms. Since loving hip hop that didn't 
I guess that people don't know about as much as Love and Hip Hop. But the craziest thing is when I go on sets to film these movies and these shows, I'm with way higher build actors that have way less of a following or way less popularity. However, they've done a million, you know, movies that have way bigger accolades, which just goes to show you again, people only care about the negative because it doesn't really translate into your like social media following. Yeah, exactly. But roles, yeah. Exactly. But, but their IMDB page is stacked through the ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Amazing actors and actresses that I've been blessed to work with. Whereas, you know, me, my resume is still good, but it's not as extensive, but I'm the one that people know because of the drama or whatever, you know, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, I, I appreciate what I've been able to accomplish because of it. Um, I'm a singer as well, of course. You know, I'm still making music. I have new songs that are dropping that I can't wait to put out. We're putting out a whole EP. Um, and I have a single called Narcissist that I'm dropping, followed by um, a single called Done Now. It's about Sharp. It's actually not, but I'm... Well, you did you, use that word to describe him earlier. You know, it was very narcissistic. <laughs> it was very narcissistic. Um, I I have never, nor will I ever write anything with the sharpened mind. Oh, really? Damn. You know, but one thing, I've never wrote a love song. Really? I've never wrote a love song. I've never been in the place where I felt like I could do it justice. I'm an amazing writer, which I think people don't know about me yet. And I can't wait for them to realize that I'm I'm amazingly talented musically, whether it's singing, writing, rapping, or just listening, a and ring vocal arranging, piecing things together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's, it's, I'm a different person when I'm in the studio. So I've been working really hard, and I'm really excited, you know, to get in, in into more of that. Um, so, yeah, Narcissus is my next single. Mm -hmm. um, I have two singles with some really cool features I'm super excited about. Um, so I'm dropping three singles, three videos, and then we're dropping the EP. And, I, I mean, I have... So so much music recorded. I'm just gonna be putting it out. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote my first movie, really, um, based off roughly based off of my life, uh, my lifestyle before kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we didn't really get super into that. Were you have like a? Were you really wild? I wouldn't say I was wilder than anybody else, but I I mean I I just I lived my life. Right. I lived my life, and you know what I tell everybody: before you have kids, be as selfish as you can be. Because when you have children, it's about them. They didn't ask to be here and suck it up. No one cares what you want to do anymore. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, you still have to have a life, of course, but your children become that priority. Right. Um, so, you know, before having kids, I went wherever I wanted to go, hop on a plane any second, date whoever I wanted to date. I just had a, the time of my life. Uh -huh. So I wrote a movie kind of based off the me and the building I lived in and the experiences that happened and just kind of things around it. Um, so look for that. Now with the writer strike and the actor strike, I'm not going to get too much in it because I do want to respect SAG mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Um, the dates are going to be pushed back a little bit because of that. Uh, yesterday they finally reached their first agreement with the writers. Thankfully, hopefully SAG will be following and suit um, because we should be starting production very soon. But again, mm -hmm. we are going to respect the strike. So um, as soon as that strike has been lifted, we will be starting production. I will be doing castings. I'm super excited. I'm also one of the main characters. Mm -hmm. And it's my first movie that I wrote. I wrote four TV shows as well. Um, and yeah, so I am now a writer and a producer as well as an actress. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. Are you like okay? Your one kid is seven. Are I have you, a seven year old. I have a I have, oh, my baby girl will be one in two weeks. Oh, okay. So you did end up having another baby. Yeah, she'll be one in two weeks. Really? Okay. Yeah. So how's that going? Um, is she. Uh, I'm obsessed. Uh -huh. I'm obsessed. It's 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 you know different starting over. Uh -huh. Like, you know, Cardi's a big girl. So now it's like, oh wait, I have to start everything over. Um. So it's, it's definitely a challenge because, you know, I'm, I'm super mom. So I'm with my daughter all the time. Right. You know, but thankfully, you know, during COVID, I picked up another side gig that I didn't mean to. I didn't even know about with the stock market. Mm. Um, so, I, you know, I'm an avid investor and I wrote a workbook called Stock Market Tips from a Bad Bitch. You can get it at stockmarkettipsfromabadbitch.com. And it teaches you the easiest way to learn the stock market. You know, I was investing... 
before um, COVID, but I had my financial advisors. And after when COVID hit, I looked at my accounts and after four years, I made $10,000. Mm-hmm. I make that in my sleep. I'm like, that's, that's like at, at that time, that wasn't even my, my day rate was way more than that. Like in four years, I made less than my day rate. So I'm like, there's no way, like, how am I making, you know, and again, I had advisors that were investing for me, but I didn't really understand anything. So when COVID hit and I had five TV contracts that were on hold and I'm like, how the hell am I going to make this type of money? Like I have Kari Barbie beating my cosmetic line, you know, I have my music, I have residuals, but nothing is going to make me money like it does when I show up to that set. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I got to figure out this investing thing. So I just kind of got on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, just started doing my own research and getting in the market and opening my own accounts and doing my own trades and just learning and figuring it out. And within four weeks, I made more than I made in four years. Right. You know, so I just started kind of like tweeting tips and stuff. And people started like asking me questions. And they were getting really aggressive, like, tell me what to do. And I'm like, OK, I, I tweeted about that two weeks ago. Well, if you ain't going to tell me, then that, I don't work for you. I'm just giving free tips, guys. <laughs> and I, I got to the point where like, OK, I'm not giving you free tips anymore because people were really being nasty like they thought they paid me for this information and i'm like i'm just one person just trying to help you guys i'm i'm tweeting what i'm learning as i'm learning like i i barely even know mm. so then i had you know a lot of people were like no this has helped me so much like i've made this amount because of what you said and you told me to buy apple on this day and you said to, you know this and so they're like can you at least make a private stock club so i so i linked with only fans and made a private stock club on only fans and um that was going really well but they wanted more so i ended up turning my chicken scratch notes into a workbook. And, um, you know, that, that did that did really well. And, you know, one thing that's really important for me is I don't want to just be somebody that's made it and my fan base or my following or the people that support me haven't. And they're, you know, they're sitting at home poor with, with no money, just watching me eating caviar and champagne <laughs> and whenever I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, that, that happens. But, you know, it's not too often that you see somebody that, has made it to a certain level of success that tries to, you know, make sure that their fan base does too. I need everybody to check out nojumbo.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, et cetera, plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, et cetera. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out nojumbo.com. So make sure you tap in.